New for you this morning, two people in the hospital right now. Two more are in jail after a shooting in Las Vegas, New Mexico. Police say two men in their mid-20s were shot at the Ray's Liquor Store there. Investigators are not telling us a whole lot about this right now, but we do know both men are in the hospital, one of them in critical condition, and police have arrested two people they say shot the men. This morning, Presbyterian Hospital is investigating a doctor after a gun is found on the property over the weekend, and it turns out the gun was left behind by an off-duty Bernalillo County Sheriff deputy and then picked up by the doctor. The whole ordeal caused the hospital to be on high alert yesterday. Security and the Albuquerque Police Department searched for the missing gun. Cops say surveillance video shows Dr. Robert Gordon entering the restroom after the deputy. He is a non Presbyterian physician with privileges to practice there. Police say after being questioned, the doctor handed over the weapon, but they say he was hesitant at first. Anytime the hospital. You know, a weapon is involved, we're very concerned, but we have uh, highly trained uh, security staff on site that uh, make routine patrols. The Sheriff's Department confirmed the off-duty deputy who left behind his personal weapon did so by accident. We're told the medical staff will now review the doctor's privilege to practice there. In overnight news, firefighters still mopping up two wildfires in the Bosque near Chimayo. The Rio Vista Run fire started yesterday in the Bosque near Chimayo. There, firefighters worked through the night to keep it between two and five acres. People who live within two miles of the fire did have to leave their homes at least for a bit. Firefighters hope to have everyone back home by midnight, though. They've not told us if that's actually happened yet. And at some point yesterday, that Rio Vista Run fire jumped the river. That created the West Arroyo Alamo fire. It's also somewhere between two and five acres. Firefighters do have this fire under control this morning. And now they are just mopping it up. And firefighters are working on another wildfire this morning. This one just southeast of Magdalena Ridge Observatory, where we know it's burned at least 75 acres so far. The sawmill fire started Saturday, and the last we heard, firefighters had none of it contained. More than 120 firefighters trying to get this under control and trying to protect the lab that's on top of the Magdalena Ridge. Investigators have not said how this fire started. And in southern Colorado, the Weber fire has burned more than 7,000 acres. Evacuations for some areas were ordered over the weekend. People have now lost AT&T service in the Mancus area. Also in Colorado, two miles from the New Mexico state line, the state line fire has now burned about 350 acres overnight. Crews continued to patrol the area and set up or structure protection, what they call structure protection. Flames have destroyed one building and a home in that area. Now, back in New Mexico, special teams are assessing the burn scars from the Little Bear fire burning near Ruidoso. This weekend, they were checking the soil for flood concerns. The lightning sparked blaze has destroyed more than 44,000 acres. It's now 75% contained. And the largest wildfire ever in New Mexico, the Whitewater Baldy Complex fire in the Gila, has now burned more than 297,000 acres and is 87% contained. Governor Susana Martinez is set to be in Albuquerque today to talk with leaders from the state's universities. She wants them and the Board of Regents to come up with a good plan to help with the problem of providing a lot of remedial courses at the universities. The governor is set to talk about this at CNM Workforce Training Center. That is at 11 o'clock this morning.